Hello everybody, hope you're doing well, and we're going to do a very quick how raids work video. Prior to hitting this join button right here, you'll probably have some structure from your alliance. If you haven't got a structure in your alliance, it's probably best to start thinking about that or putting things together. I want to give a massive shout out to Lattice B Cyril, who is my alliance leader, who has put together a structure for an assignment for everybody in our alliance as to where they're going and as well what type of tactics or tact. I want to give a shout out to Let Us Be Serial, who's my alliance leader, who with him and many other top office pe officer people within our alliance put together a structure that aligns a role with the section that you're going in the particular map and as well how you plan to take everything on. Communication's key. When doing the first raid, look, mistakes are going to happen. You don't have to be perfect the first time. So just go in and try and put your best champions at those particular bosses. When choosing your respective champion to go in, you do this, or I advise this. If you're Assault, I would click on the Vanguard and click on Tactician. Did you just see that? They deselected, which means that you'll see everything that's got that fist emblem, that's the champions to use. For me, I've been assigned as Vanguard, the tank. So I click that button and have a look at which ones they are. My Colossus is the strongest. It may not be the most effective, but this is the first time ever doing it. So I need to test that out. My second option would be Abomination. I do have Titania, Spider-Man, as well as Red Hulk, but I wouldn't say that as strong. My Colossus is my strongest one so far, but it's not necessarily the best champion. Choose the best champion you think would be a good option. And of course, do bear in mind, it's your first time going in. So make mistakes, find out improvements, and rank up champions based on what happens. If you are concerned at any time about maybe using a certain champion, here's a good example. I thought, even though I kind of know I'm going to use Colossus, I thought I'd just shoot a message to my alliance leader and just say, well, I'm not quite sure. And funny enough, Lettuce is like telepathic. He kind of knows exactly what I'm going to like say, which is, look, it's the first time. Just go experiment with whatever champion and see what the results are. Entering in, of course, it's going to cost you tickets. You can get some from doing alliance quests throughout the week, but you may have to buy some more in order to enter. Of course, doing raids gives some amazing, lovely rewards at the same time. Now, when you enter, you'll be greeted with this particular warning telling you about all the different types of raid bosses and as well what kind of things they do or what you'll have to do in order to make a difference. Like the first champion that I'll be facing off against in this particular video is... Thanos, which will call out a random game action of intercept the opponent, block a hit, or dodge a hit after the call out action is completed, gain raid further at 50 raid further, complete the mission, and gain a roll charge, which of course is going to be beneficial to the greater good of uh, continuing on further, and also helping out my fellow alliance mates that are in this particular pod of, uh, of map. My role, of course, is tactician, so I'm going to be going up here to this particular spot, which is the middle way point, and of course, we're going to be doing and picking a boost for us. Knowing your champion is going to be very important as to what you choose. You may be a vanguard, you may be assault, you may be a tactician. At this particular point, the champion you have will have abilities, which if you know them prior to going in, you know how you can improve them and amplify them. Here's a good example. I'm using Colossus. Colossus has armor up buffs. As it says right here, increase any raid further gain from this mission by 6 for each armor up buff active on the attacker. Max 30. Combo ending attacks grant a 45 second 10% armor up buff. Max 5. A max stacks refresh instead each armor up buff active grants 45 critical rating gaining critical damage rating equal to armor rating so of course that's going to be important it's going to maximize some damage and as well it's going to help out as we like to say the greater gut of my fellow alliance mates trying to gain further damage potential on those bosses so the main thing that i've got to do before i go into this boss fight is read the nodes Thanos will call out a random game action of intercept an opponent, block a hit or dodge a hit after the call out action is completed, gain raid further. So of course, when those things are called out, I've got to do them as much as possible and play the long game. Now one thing to point out, it doesn't matter who starts this fight. One thing I did have to clarify with my alliance, it just matters at the next sequence 
who is next. So for example, the order, as somebody pointed out on the forums, could go like this. So it could go Assault Vanguard Tactician or Vanguard Tactician Assault ta Tactician Assault Vanguard. It's just a case maybe deciding your alliance who starts first. For example, in this particular example, I'm starting first. And then this order will be repeated further on. So when we all get to the next fight, which will be Kang, I start first. Then it will be Slay, who is uh, the next person. And it ends with Keen, who is the next person in this uh, trio of de destruction. And I said deduction. But it's deduction at the moment, because we're like Sherlock Holmes. Ah, oh, damn. I got knocked out, right? So what does that mean? Well, what it can mean is I can then start to revive. If you go to your store and then go to your potion section, you'll see that level 2 alliance raid revives you can get right there. So I can buy them there. Then, once I've purchased them, they do refresh in 24 hours. Of course, it's 20 hours at the point of, uh, of kind of like here. To give you a bit of an idea how that particular fight went, the prompts that I was getting was block a hit and do bear in mind there's a point where you can only take so much chip damage through your block um that's not helpful that could really be dealt with better but uh look, it is what it is so i'm gonna have another crack at it because you know why not do an intercept hit a block come on there we go hit another block there you go another block another raid further there we go there we go and evade that makes a change. I'm not going to talk you through all of this because I need to kind of like uh, proper concentrate here. But uh, you get the idea. Um, that's an intercept. But I know I'm going to eat a special to the face because that's the game. That's the AI. Boom. Get intercept. Boom. Block. There we go. We've got to do another intercept. Good. Hit the block. Hit the block. There we go. Got to do it again. But I'm going to just throw a special attack. Just because I want to make sure I'm pushing the enemy back. Of course, if you run out of the standard ones you get for free, or not for free, but with one gold on a daily basis, you can use glory base stuff, which you can see right here. I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing, but definitely kind of like an interesting thing. Now, what's next? Well, you're looking at your alliance mates going in. Here are my alliance mates fighting at the moment. Of course, the next one to go in will be like in the order as we said. So as you can see, there's 15 tacti tactician roll charges at the moment. And then there's two assault charges. But of course, that's going to build. And here's again the, the main thing. You are building together. Um, and it's best to kind of like have a ruling of who's going in what order. As I said, we came up with an idea of who we're going to go in with and we're currently on Discord at the moment communicating uh, as we're going at this particular point. And this will continue on as we go further down the line. Uh, will more deaths happen? Of course they will. Is it a learning curve in this particular mode? Of course it is. And will we have to do an updated how uh, Alliance Raids work or how Alliance Raids works for dummies? I'm sure we will as the event and the mode evolves in general. And also, if you feel like you might have done badly, don't be so downbeat on yourself. This is the first day. Mistakes are gonna happen. Make mistakes. I always think that's one of the best things about life, making mistakes. Because you get to learn from stuff. You get to find out what is good, what is bad. It's the first day, so get in and have a bit of, well, fun, a bit of stress, uh, but also a bit of learning curve. In any case, I will see you in the next video. I think there's some new stuff to go over and loads of things. If not, I'll bump it into tomorrow. Also, I need to do a gauntlet guide. Uh, but uh, look, have fun. Check out some other content located on the screen and have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye for now.